Welcome to the homework for lesson eight. This is module five of first grade. Name first, please. And this says uh, circle the correct word to show, to tell how each shape is divided, whether and it's whether it, the parts are equal or unequal. And I mentioned this in a previous homework assignment about circles. Uh, for the parts to be equal to a circle, the only way you can really tell is if the the lines are going through the center. Now, this line goes to the center. So if it was just that line there, then we would have two equal halves or two equal parts. But these right here, there's no, this part here looks a lot like it, there's a lot more to it than this part right here. So these lines don't go through the center of the circle. So really, they don't look equal. So I'm going to say unequal. And here we have a uh, rectangle that's chopped up into two triangles. Those two look like they're equal to each other. And here's a uh, here's a square that looks like, if you think that's halfway for that side and that's right in the middle of that side, then those are two part two equal parts so that they are halves. And then here it looks like these are that looks like it's in the middle of that side. This looks like it's in the middle of that side there. This looks like it's in the middle of that. So these makes this rectangle looks like it's four equal smaller rectangles. And it's four equal parts is quarters. Halves are two equal parts. Quarters are four equal parts. And same thing we're looking at here. These triangles all look like they're the same. So that's going to be quarters. And here, this looks like it goes right to the center of the circle. So we have two halves. Two parts are halves. It would need four parts to be fourths. And here we have, it looks like we have four equal parts here. And just like the circle, when you think about it, it goes right to the center where the, the, the lines cross. These are quarters because there's four equal parts. And here, now here's an example of where you don't have uh, the lines crossing each other in the middle like you do with the, the square here or the rhombus there. Uh, but if these parts all look the same to you and they do to me, you've got four equal parts. One, two, three, four. That makes them fourths. Now, which part of the shape is shaded? Circle the correct answer. It's either a half or a quarter. Well, there's only two parts here, so that's half. And here we have four parts, so it can't be half because there's only one of them shaded. So that's one of the quarters. And now here we have, this would be two quarters if it was quarters, but the choice here says one quarter. But if I look at it, this looks like it's half of the rhombus. So I'm going to circle one half. And then same thing here. Now this is, this would have to be two quarters for it, for me to count how many quarters are shaded in. But this looks like it's right down the middle. So it's half shaded in and half not. So it's halves. They're equal parts. Those are halves. And then it says color one quarter of each shape. So quarters are one of four equal parts. So that's four equal parts for the rectangle. So I'm just going to color one of those four. And then the same thing for the circle. I'm going to color one of these four pieces. And now it says color one half of each shape. So there's a half there. And then I can color the either the left or the right or the bottom or the top. I'm going to shade in the bottom half you might notice that it, when it's chopped up into fourths like this it takes two fourths to make the same as one half or two quarters to make one half 